All right, so now to take a look at the new review process inside of the Nail Art Studio um, and how that works um, amongst the different designs that you have. So um, as a designer, uh, I have uh, logged into my Nail Art Studio account. Uh, in this case, I have a couple you know, pre-existing designs. Uh, you'll see in another video about how to use these and understand these. This is sort of the output of the review process inside of the new Nail Art Studio. So you see approved designs, you see declined designs, you see pending designs. Um, there's one other state which is work in progress designs, which are uh, projects that I've been working on, um, may have made some improvements to, but I have not necessarily submitted that for approval. Um, pending designs is the particular name that we're, we're talking about. Designs that have been submitted for approval but have not had um, the, re the review team um, from Jamberry take a look at them quite yet. So uh, I'm going to show you about how to submit a new design for approval. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new design. It's going to load up a new project here. And I am going to go maybe put in a new, um, a new pattern here. In this case, I'm going to tilt this ever so slightly. I'm going to extend this just a bit. I'm going to make this a little bit of a yellow maybe. I'm going to actually duplicate that now. So I want to, and I'm just going to tilt this in the other direction just a bit, make a little bit of an interesting design there. Make this one some, maybe make a little bit of an orange -ish. Okay, cool. So that is my new design. I'm going to apply this to all of my nails. So now I'm just going through the, you know, the name, the normal uh, motions of creating my uh, design. Now I'm happy with these as they are. Uh, maybe I want to go ahead and name this. So I'll just say, let's see, stripes. Oops, stripes. Okay, name that. Okay, good to go. Now up here in the top right corner, you're going to see a preview button. This is going to begin and start to walk you through um, sort of the the, uh, the preliminary stages of the review process. So I'm going to go ahead and press preview. It's going to go ahead and generate a um, an image uh, that will show you how the, uh, the of this this design. Um, you're going to see that, uh, you, and then you're going to want to go to scroll to the very bottom here, and you're going to want to click that you agree to the terms and conditions. Of course, you can go ahead and look through those um, if you're interested. Um, we're going to go ahead and just agree to those terms and conditions. Um, then, um, what's going to happen is. I'm going to go ahead and submit this for approval. So one thing that's going to happen is going to just going to give me a quick notice. So what's the, what this message is saying is effectively that there's going to be that there that, that what you're seeing on your screen and how you're seeing your particular design, we can't guarantee it with a hundred percent certainty that this is the way it's going to look when it actually is printed out um, on the actual material um, for the wraps. And there's a couple different um, you know reasons for that. One of the reasons. Um, really is that screens tend to uh, display colors more vibrantly. They're brighter, they, they seem more vibrant. Um, and so not all that stuff can be actually represented through our print machines um, on, on the actual physical um, wraps. Um, now, one other uh, side note to that is that screens tend to display colors differently. So, you know, a screen um, from a computer that was made in 2005 may look a lot different than uh, the the colors and the way that the design looks for maybe a, a, a different type of or a higher uh, resolution or so some different some newer technology in, in terms of um, the screen that's being that I'm using say on this computer um, for example so there's just differences um, in the way that uh, colors look and they appear um, and so there there may be some variation there it might be there ever so slightly but in any case we just have to go in and make sure that everyone's comfortable with that so as soon as I'm good with that, I can go ahead and submit my design. Okay, now it's gonna think for a second here. And what this is doing is this is just popping it over to our review team. And now they have access to that and now they can take a look at it. So now I'm gonna go back to my designs. You're gonna see that I have a new pending design here as stripes. And now as soon as the, uh, the review team at Jamberry takes a look at it, um, and uh, makes the decision upon it, 
then they're going to go in and uh, put it into these two other buckets. One being a decline design, then or two being an approved design. Approved design, of course, uh, you know, as you can imagine, as soon as it is approved, I can go ahead and purchase it. And one other thing that uh, that is uh, interesting now with this improved um, way that we're handling uh, the approval and the uh, uh, review process inside of the Nail Art Studio is that I can repurchase this as many other times as I want to without having to submit it for approval time and time again. As soon as it's approved, it stays approved. And I can go ahead and purchase that ever, you know, as much as I want to. Um, so that's a little bit about how to submit a design for approval.